What is meiosis? Well, if we were to put it simply, we'd say it was a process of specialized cell division that reduces chromosome numbers by half and creates four haploid cells. These haploid cells would be genetically distinct to each parent. But where do words like cell division, haploids, chromosomes, and genes come in? Well, it begins at a set of stages, the first being called prophase. During prophase one, an occurrence called synapsis takes place. Chromosomes containing DNA are bunched within the center of the nucleus, while protein ropes called microtubules are produced. This is when a chromosome from a mother and a chromosome from a father are coming together so that they're tightly wound. Segments of a chromosome from mom and segments of a chromosome from dad then begin to switch. These segments are called locus and contain genes within. The cell then proceeds to metaphase 1. The protein ropes, called microtubules, then attach to the chromosomes. The chromosomes are moved by motor proteins and form a line along the equator of the cell. Then comes anaphase 1. Motor proteins pull on ropes and the chromosomes from mom and dad split. Genetic material rebuilds in a stage called telophase. Each of the cell structures are reconstructed. Cytokinesis 1 then begins to occur. This is the cell movement, where the two new nuclei move apart and the cell officially splits. Now we're left with two daughter cells, and prophase 2 begins to occur. Within these daughter cells, chromosomes are bunched within the center, and protein ropes are produced, called microtubules. Next comes metaphase 2 where the chromosomes are moved by motor proteins to form a line across the equator of the cell. Chromosomes are attached to microtubules. Motor proteins begin to pull on ropes and the chromosomes split into individual chromosomes. This is the stage anaphase 2. Then comes telophase, where genetic material rebuilds around each of the newly constructed cell structures. And lastly is cytokinesis 2. The two new nuclei move apart and the cell splits. Now we're left with four granddaughter cells, each genetically distinct to their parents.